Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome or welcome back. Today I'm talking about adaptations again. If you caught my last video about adaptations, it was about the book to screen adaptation of Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. You'll know that I have strong feelings when uh, Hollywood just turns a story into garbage on the screen. So that just got me thinking about adaptations that I have actually enjoyed and I thought I would share them with you. Uh, these are in no particular order, just, you know, stuff that I've liked. The first adaptation that I loved, I can actually say I loved it, was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Uh, the Hunger Games was a book trilogy. It is a four part movie. And I think that this was so well done. Obviously you have to take liberties when you adapt something to make it fit, to make scenes coherent. And I think that what they did with the Hunger Games is a prime example of how an adaptation should take place. Uh, I just read The Hunger Games for the first time earlier this year, and I can't believe I hadn't read them before that. And I watched the movies in conjunction, like once I finished a book, I watched a movie, and it was just so good. I it was an A plus experience as far as book to screen adaptations go. And I mean, who hasn't read or seen The Hunger Games? The next adaptation that I really enjoyed is also something that I read this year, which is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I watched the movie before I read the book, but the movie made me want to read the book. And both are just so good in their own separate ways. It was beautifully done. Should I give like a book synopsis? I don't, I don't know. No, we're not gonna do it. I'm bad at them anyway. The next book to screen adaptation that I actually enjoyed is kind of an older one. I read it, I read it years and years ago. It's White Oleander by Janet Fitch. Uh, it's a heavy book. Uh, the adaptation has Michelle Pfeiffer and Allison, someone rather, I don't remember her name, but it was a good adaptation. I love the way that the actors tapped into the characters. I felt like they did a really good job at portraying like book emotions into screen emotions, which is actually pretty hard. I, I read and watched those both when I was like in my teens and you know, for me, a very immature minded individual to have appreciated it back then it says something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is. It's all, it's all subjective, right? The next movie adaptation that I really enjoyed was Don't Laugh at Me. It's Eat, Pray, Love, uh, which was written by Elizabeth Gilbert. This is, a, this is another instance where I watched the movie before I read the book and it was in a very interesting time in my life, which I think is a re another reason that I loved both things, both the movie and the book. It's also another instance where I think that the actors did so well at portraying characters, which is a whole thing in itself because Eat, Pray, Love is based off of the life of Elizabeth Gilbert, right? So to tap into these people, these real people, and give them a believable and likable pers on-screen persona is, is to me something pretty cool. Who's in Eat, Pray, Love? Julia Roberts. Javier Bardem, uh, James Franco. Yeah, it's a good movie based off a book. Next is just a, like a little more of like a fun, a fun one. 
that I didn't wholly love, but I still kind of love. It is Love, Simon, which is the film adaptation of Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albert Halley. This is just, I don't know. I, I, I unashamedly, unapologetically enjoy like, I don't know, like teen drama. And this is a really good one. I didn't wholly love the book, but I really enjoyed the movie. The next two are actually book to screen uh, TV show adaptations. And the first one is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Uh, this is the Hulu show. And this is one of those things where I liked, like Love, Simon, that I liked the, adaptate, the screen adaptation just a little bit better than the book because I felt like I got more from the characters, um, on screen than I did from the books. It's definitely, definitely good if you like kind of like drama. Next is The Handmaid's Tale, which was originally written by Margaret Atwood. I love the book on its own, except for the ending, um, which is why I love the TV show adaptation so much, because it gives me like the chance at some sort of resolution. And if you've read The Handmaid's Tale, then you will know what I'm talking about. I've also read The Testaments and I just, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I'm relying more on the show to give me the ending that I want. And I just, it's very intense, but it's very good. Definitely suggest watching it at least if you don't want to read it and I have two honorary mentions in here uh and this is solely because I enjoy really bad acting I enjoy really bad teen acting Fallen by Lauren Kate and Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead I feel like these screen adaptations did not get the justice that they deserved. I was so sad when Vampire Academy didn't get its screen continuation because I really liked that series when I was younger. Um, and Fallen was just so bad. Like the acting is so bad that it was so good. Yeah, so that is just a few of the book to screen adaptations that I have personally enjoyed, that I personally think we're done well. Um, and I'm like, not really like one of those like book snobs that think like, oh, the book was better, even though that's generally a true statement. Uh, I, I do believe that screen adaptations can, can be really good. Sometimes better in the cases of The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, yeah, so if you have any book to screen adaptation recommendations, definitely drop them in the comments below or message me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm always looking for something new to watch, especially, especially if it's based on a book because then I, and, I, and a book that I haven't read because then it gives me something new to watch and something new to read. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.